Hello and welcome to Easy Projects. And what you just saw was the intro that I use on my second YouTube channel, Easy Tech Time. So if you want to see more videos from me, you can check out that channel. I just uploaded five videos this week, actually. The videos on that channel will not be electronics related, but I try to keep them related to technology anyways. It will be a lot of 3D printing and some reviews of random things and stuff and whatever comes to my mind that day. So today we will be taking this hard drive apart and it is a pretty old drive, it's a 320 megabytes. So we undo the screws on the top and we can pop the lid off. And you can see there's not many components at all. We have this little lever arm and we have the spinning disks where the data is stored. And we'll take it a bit further apart so we can look at the parts in a bit more detail. And here is just a little close up so you can see what it looks like when it is in one piece. And the screws that I'm undoing now are holding in some pretty strong magnets that can perhaps be reused for some other purpose. And we just have to loosen the axle for the arm as well, if we can find the correct bit. And we should be able to lever this up. But it it requires a bit of force because the magnets are very strong. And there we have it. And you can see it takes a, a lot of force just to pull it off there. And if I stick the screwdriver down, it's not easy to get off. And just a bit of grease on there. And, of course, you have to get that on your hands. So, unfortunately, I can't slide the arm all the way out so I can get it off, but... I'll have to loosen the discs. There's a little ring. And a very shiny disc. Almost like a mirror. A little ring. And now I can flip out the arm and I just cut the little flat flex cable so we can have a look in a bit more detail. And you can see there all the way at the very tip there's some tiny tiny coils and that is what is used to read and write to the disc. And there's some rubber pads so it doesn't scratch the discs and you can see the wires are running down the side and through the flat flex cable. This of course has to move very precise so there's two ball bearings in the arm here and there's a coil and when this coil sits in between these two magnets it can move back and forth when a current is applied to it. And the arm will of course pivot around the bearings and the position can be very precisely controlled by applying more or less current to the coil. So we can lift up the last disc here and we only have the motor left. And again it's very shiny. So here's the motor and it is pressure fit into the case so we'll have to undo that later. Here is the other magnet. And we will flip it over and loosen the circuit board. And by the way, all the screws in this hard drive are tightened like crazy. 
and there's not much of interest on this circuit board. We have the controller and the memory and there will be an interface for the IDE connector. And there will be some motor controllers, I guess. And here is where the motors press fit into the case. And I'm just trying to see how hard it is pressed in there. But I do need to use a hammer to get it out. So, we'll do that. And after a few hits with the hammer, we can pop the lid off. And it is embedded to the case, really. So what we have here is kind of only the flywheel with the magnets on it. And what's left on the case is the coils and the connector. And the connector goes through the board to the other side. And it connects to the PCB via a zebra strip. And these zebra strips are actually pretty cool because they only allow connection straight through them. So you can use the same strip across four pads like this and they will only connect to what is directly above them. So you just have to make sure that you line up the pads on the motor directly below where the pads are on the PCB and everything should be fine. And one pad shouldn't interfere with any other. So that is about it. And as you can see, there's not much in a hard drive. And as I said, this is a very old hard drive. If you take a newer one, there will be even less inside. And the parts will be much smaller. I guess the only useful things will be the magnets. They are pretty strong and you can probably use them for something. And who knows, perhaps someone will use the discs for some kind of decoration or something. But yeah, you can get an overview of what was inside in this shot. And thanks for watching the video. If you like it, please give it the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you.